reaction on this one is to lie on the floor. Okay? And so, lie on the floor. Alright, so, lie on the floor. Alright? Alright, so that's the action. I have to justify this action so I can tell a story through it. Why am I lying on the floor? Alright. Justification is I'm being arrested with a cop telling me to lie on the floor. And from that, from the behavior that was created from the justification of the why, it gave me to cross my ankles and put my hands out and one hand, one hand. Okay, have I ever experienced this before? Of course not. Uh, so it's not in my immediate life. It's not my immediate experience. It's not from my life. But it is from my peripheral life. Meaning a life that I have seen. Not experienced, but I have seen it firsthand. And then I can duplicate it. The actor doing justification needs to find the reason why he's doing something in the scene. Saying something in the scene. It's the verbal action or what we call the lines, the words or psychological actions and thoughts. You must look at all three which makes life, that three, the three that makes the circle, that makes life. And every thought, every physical action, every verbal action must have a why. The actor does not have to worry about the expression, meaning the, the, the outward expression of that action. It will be covered if he has a specific what he's doing, a very simple action, what he's doing, and a why, a very simple why from his life or his peripheral life that will make the expression of what this character is doing. That's justification. All right. 